Hello doll friends, this is Michael Canadas with the Grovian Doll Museum and Carmel Doll Shop. I am here with my good friend Denise Bisi, who Michael. was one of our volunteers that helped decorate, although it's done in various pieces and parts. So mm -hmm. you didn't really get to see the whole thing. No, finish. I did not. No, I didn't. Because it's what, two, four, six, eight, if ten people working on right, this. So right. there's a lot of things. And it that goes from front to back. It's That's a right. lot of things. Yes. Well, yes. nothing it looks succeeds beautiful. like excess. Excess. And that's what you can do at that's Christmas right. time. And yeah. uh, one of one of the things that um, one way we can honor our family and our friends that are no longer with us is by celebrating this. Mm -hmm. So all of our trees have something on them somewhere mm, that's personal. That's personal. So this is not a tree that's the things are for sale. This is right. gifts and this and that. Right. And then the theme of course is the land of live dolls. Live dolls. So we'll go for it. Okay. So I'm showing you around. What do you want to look right. at first? Well you, we can you, start with this tree okay. that's right in front of us. And I can see that there are all sorts of toys underneath it that children would have gotten that's true at various times and I think doll that in a box you and, and Mary like Senko worked on this tree didn't you I helped a little yeah. not much on this okay one. so Mary she gave me another job that I okay it's over there good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the tree that when you uh, look in at night this is what people see when right. they look in the front window right. and um, uh, if I don't see um, some uh, cheek prints and uh, oh, palm prints on yes, the window, yes. and I love the little low ones. The low ones. The so then, ones. then we know that it's the kids. Right. But it, it, it's designed, it's, Mary designed it so that you can walk all the way around and it. And see something. And even the top, she put that doll on top, which I think was genius. Oh, I the forgot. The china. Oh, I forgot that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I think Isn't it's that costume beautiful, great? yes. Perfect for original costume. And perfect she just for, went around the yeah. store. And, and she did. She grabbed, she grabbed lots of things. And up. these things, we are right now in the shop. So uh, okay, the, the right. things on the bottom, most of it is for sale. But there's a couple of things that, are, um, that she picked to put uh, that are not. Mm. So it's, it's fun. And of course, I love, I love tiny I antique love, houses yes, yes. because you can just use it like that and just plop it in and right. it's ready to go. Right. So you did, I oh, think. No. Oh, yes. Well, so I you did the <laughs> opera house. I did the opera house. Well, it's, it's charming. And that and was a lot of fun. It, it was a lot of fun um, pulling things again from the shop, pulling dolls um, and then just the little um, accessories. And I, I love the uh, um, Christmas packages. So, oh, so did, did we yes. have those? Yes, you did. Oh, I did wow. not make those. You had them. Okay. Well, that's good. So every year you open a box and there it is. Well, I will tell you that we did have, a, we were missing a frog that somehow oh. got packed away for a year. Oh. And then it did resurface <laughs> it, it in with Christmas. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's funny. So yeah. that, that looks but really it's just pretty. A, a pretty. A pretty room. Yes, it is. All right, so then where do you want to go next? Well, we have this to my left here. And I think this it's is... It's a simplistic uh, but display. But it's lovely, mm -hmm. but it's lovely. Yeah. Just some fun little things, mm -hmm. cute carriages, nice doll houses. And you can just put different types of things together. Well, I do like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do like study groups, but I also like Putting, to mix, them, mixing, mix things mm -hmm. up. And that's all pretty much a mixed bag. Yeah. And then I think this display Mary did. Yes, I helped her a little bit with this. I might have made a couple of bows. <laughs> well, you you love to make bows, as we all know. No, I yeah, as we all know, I well, learned. I learned. It did get a little bit um, disturbed because a doll, a big dollhouse that was there, mm -hmm. um, sold, and then so we put this other house in its place, and. Uh, and this Eddie, is, Eddie decorated that yesterday. This. So this, you know, we have to be able to, in this part of the, the mm. world, um, we have to be able to uh, be flexible. Yes, we do. Now, I will tell you that we're not going to show the inside of the dollhouses because that's going to be for a special program okay. the night before Christmas. Ooh. And we might be able Ooh, like to uh, actually 
uh, have that elusive David Robinson do it. Oh, that would be nice. And that, and we could call it the fight before Christmas, because <laughs> we'll fight. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> and um, Mary put this yes. together, I believe. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I just so. yesterday added this. Um, um, South African lady, because mm. I thought this is World Doll Day. We have mm -hmm. to represent mm. as many. The fabrics. Uh, yeah, isn't that fun? Just and the jewelry. Beautiful. Oh, look at her. Yeah. yeah. But I love her bisque. Mm. I mean, I think that's mm -hmm. such a gorgeous color. Mm. Now we're going to go over here because I, I okay. know you're responsible for what they call now, aren't they called oh. pencil trees now? Isn't that what they're called? These I tall. I, you know what? I don't know because this year is the very first time I got an artificial tree. Well, I love <laughs> real trees, but I also I love finely to, folded. I, I love to sleep at night, and yeah. last year we did uh, real trees, and then I kind of was worried about it. Um, mm -hmm. And then I thought, I don't need to be worrying about mm -hmm. that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, we're responsible for these things while they're in our care. Right. So I can't do anything um, to. Oh, they're so I know beautiful. you did. I know well, you did. Judy and I did. You and Judy. Judy and Judy I did. Judy Lloyd. Judy Lloyd. Yes. Yeah. She's a, a volunteer of mm -hmm. ours, and she's a member of the our club. Mm -hmm. She and, does beautiful trees. Beautiful. As does Mary. And does she not have energy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I had to sit <laughs> yeah. and do the bows. And did you guys do the fireplace? No, um, actually Mary did that, I believe. I think that's really pretty. And, I, and it was interesting to watch them do that because um, when I was growing up, my grandmother did her fireplace just like that mm. with the little houses. Little and, houses, and, right. So. Now this that's was this was the easiest thing hmm. that we did because this is Rose Percy's President's Tree, uh huh, mm -hmm. and it is always decorated. It's always decorated, so, so you just put it away. You as just put it, it away. And this was our program that that is, um, was shown on Thursday, and it's since a, a quintessential American mm. story. I thought mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. uh, that, yes, perfect for yes. that. Now, who did this tree? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe Unless I I'm, did. I, you maybe might I did. have. You <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. We did some where we had some of these very small ornaments, but I don't know if this is the actual tree. No. Well, this one should have, I, I think I did this one. This should have an orange on top. Oh. It's, it's already had a couple of oranges, but uh, you know, mm. they, they're, they only last so long. So long. Right. And that's got some, it's a mix of, of some very old ornaments and some mm. not, but this is a real part of our friends from way, way back remember these because we used to sell these in our original shop mm. and these were 25 cents a piece. Oh, goodness. And we used to sell them um, by the bushel. Wow. Do and you they, have any more? Do you just have? No, no, we haven't had them in it. here. And then look at this. Oh, there, there's guy. some throughout. Yes. Okay. And of course, we already we talked already, about yes, Dorothy and Serafina and Frederick. Frederick. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, here's a gorgeous. Now, uh, I'm not going to show you the inside, but no. uh, this was done by JC and Joanne Donovan. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, it's hard work to do it all. Kristen Bowen. Kristen Bowen. Yes, that's her nickname. <laughs> that's her nickname. Kristen <laughs> Bowen. Yes. And they worked really hard. It's to, beautiful. Um, they did a great job. And, and, uh, very symmetrical mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. it's not only decorated beautifully on the outside but it is on the inside oh, which you'll, the inside too. you'll mm. be seeing that okay. and I should give you a, a thrill because maybe people haven't seen this before but that's okay we always love to see it look at that so if you're wondering how they got the uh, Christmas trees up to okay. the <laughs> third floor that's how you do it turn that off because it, it's fun for a while but after but <laughs> a while it, it'll get to you so that was very fun and I think that have, Mary did this I think display. that was done when I um, yeah yeah I did this one and are you familiar with these dolls um, um, I know but oh, I forget now what you call they're them. called they're called tiny town oh it's the 
and they are a contemporary of um, Nancy Ann storybooks. They're made in the 30s and the 40s in San Francisco, California. Ah. And they have boxes like um, Nancy Ann's and, and they have little characters. And you know, we've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. I have not seen this many tiny, tiny town dolls at one time. Like here's, great. there's, just, there's the, the wolf and there's Red Riding Aww. Hood. And then of course, and the, a couple of boxes. Yeah, boxes with the labels. And then there's the um, um, chimney sweep, which is good luck if a chimney sweep mm. crosses your path. Oh. They're very, very cute. And uh, the painter, it's interesting, the painter that painted them actually worked for Nancy Ann. Oh, okay. So you can see so the kind, kind of, of stylistically. Yes. yes. And then they have armature bodies that are wrapped. It's a very interesting little group of dolls to um, collect. And very nice to put on a small tree or a wreath mm -hmm. or something yeah. to put on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it kind of gives us the, uh, you know, a, a representation of the 30s and 40s. And a great thing to have in their stocking. And they're made in California. And, <laughs> and I'm California. a Californian and I yeah. have to uh, give propers when, when we have to, when, when it's merited and this mm -hmm. is a great little company. Mm -hmm. And they sold them at the White House Department Store, which mm. is one of our finest department stores. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. And the, um, the other uh, famous department store would be the city of Paris, which is now Neiman Marcus. Oh my. So these were very, okay. very uh, Union Square yes. area, gorgeous places. Yes. So where wonderful. should we go next? So should we go to the wonderful world of Schoenhutz? Oh, let's, okay. yes. Now, I think that, did mm, Judy yes. and who did this tree? This is... Um, no, I didn't. You I don't didn't. know. They so it's they either Mary or it. Judy. Right. But I, I love the, the... I mean, they were here for three days and I was here for one Three days, like a whirlwind. Yeah. But I love, I love the, the things that they picked for this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of figural things. Mm -hmm. And it is a mix of old and, and newer. And then, as I said, a lot of things here are very personal, like yes. bulldogs right. and, and that kind of thing. Right. And, uh, and then, of course, this is under the Schoenhut tree. So I guess this is the Christmas baby because she's <laughs> nude. She's a little naughty girl. Mm. And I don't think we have any trees over there, just, just dolls, Such dolls, dolls. Children. So we're still in the shop. Mm -hmm. And I think we should go over and show these well, two have, trees. Yes, a couple of wonderful trees here. So Mary did this tree, mm -hmm. and a uh, uh, Barbie tree. And of course, we have to have a tribute to the most famous doll that was ever made, and that would be uh, uh, Barbie. Yeah, and um, uh, Mary donated all the dolls, and then Bradley Justice, the Barbie's best friend, he de de uh, donated more dolls to f mm. uh, make it opulent. And what we're going to do with this, uh, all these Barbies on the tree is uh, at the World Doll Day shows, which is Mary Senko's project. I mean, we participate and we help, but it's her, her project. These Barbies are going to be all given to mm. little girls mm. or little boys. Mm. So it's not going to be raffled. Fantastic. It's going to be gifted to them. But I think, thrilled. I mean, I think when you see <laughs> this opulence of 1980s, mm -hmm. uh, you know, big hair and, right. um, you know, I mean, children love this. And, and she it, looks a little like Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm, yes. And you've got the one in the green and then you've got, um, Enchanted Evening, and then the Beauty Queen. You know she was the Beauty Queen because she had the most <laughs> hair. And mm -hmm. and this, I do love this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll give this to myself. <laughs> and look at that. It's yeah, a great. It's, did you see this? Yes. Denise? Yes. It's a, It's a. It looks really like a number one in the Enchanted Evening. I and believe. Then oh no, these, Solo in the Spotlight. And then these were these. Bradley's idea? No, 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 those were the the concept is all um, oh, Mary's. Okay. Okay. The the display. He just donated some some items. Okay. But like the pink cowboy hats, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And, you know, the pink Paris things, the pink chairs, that's all Mary. Okay. So Mary, Mary, and there's a pink motorcycle. But well, she gave a lot of thought. She, she did. She put, uh -huh. she put a lot of work yeah. into it. And then across that, from that. This is, is amazing. Um, you know, we came to work today. Uh, I brought one of the staff today to because we had an early 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 day here we have a lot of early days during this time and there was a great big rainbow in the sky and I said well that's for us mm. because today we're going to do <laughs> this program and there's going to be the Wizard of Oz tree now is yeah. that a tree topper go. is that a tree topper <laughs> I dare anybody to have that on yeah, your tree at yeah. home. And uh, uh, a lot of people are afraid this is going to fall down, but it's pretty well. Uh, um, we have all the characters, I, I believe, except um, they haven't made a Glenda the Good Witch. Oh, oh. So if if they did, that would be the tree topper. Oh, okay. And sure. that, I think that's but a matter that, of time. But I like her up there. I do too. Well, I think it's fun. It and is fun. And, uh, and then, of course, Dorothy Gale, and if you didn't see her on... Um, this side, then she's, she's over here yeah. on this side, and then, but my most favorite, and I think that this, by the way, I think that these are the best representation mm -hmm. of the genius of Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Adrian, the mm -hmm. makeup artist, mm -hmm. all the behind the scenes people, the performers, this, these are the best. They're replicas of uh, They really are, people, but my actors. favorite, I think it's, it's the cowardly him. lion. Look at him. Look at his paws. Yeah. I think he's... And the scarecrow. I mean, I like them all. But I love the cowardly lion. And actually, he feels really, really good to hold. Mm. Um, and of course, the, the, the detail. Um, I have seen uh, the Wicked Witch's um, skirt. And it basically was a wraparound skirt. Very mm. easy to get on and off. Mm. But you know what until you see it as a doll you don't realize it had all these extra details mm, no, like the, the satch you wouldn't know no. mm -mm. look how the cape is because is let's snapped. face it when you're watching the movie which is a, a fabulous classic mm -hmm. you you're so busy looking at her mean little face that you don't notice her clothes look at her nails mm -hmm. look at that. I'll get you and your little dog, Toto, too. <laughs> My little pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do need sometimes in, in life, we need op opposition, don't we, <laughs> to, to make it <laughs> interesting. <laughs> but it's a, it's a wonderful story, and I wish my mother were here because she was born in 1939, mm. and she was, she, this was a particular favorite film of hers, and of course, all of us. Oh, that, we watched it every year. Every year. We? Yeah. yeah. Right. And then don't forget Toto. So there's a little, you know, he. He's just a little wee guy, but again, it's a beautifully done piece. Mm -hmm. Just, just in there. Yeah, and they're of course gorgeous. the Tin Man. But we should now go into the to the museum, museum. part. Okay. So once you crossed into the land of Oz, <laughs> and you are in this part of the building, now you're in in the museum part, and. This tree, I did this, and this is our what I would call our second tier antique ornaments. Um, I mean, there's some really nice items, and uh, you know, I love them all, but they're not our really, really best. Ones. But they still must have memories. Oh, they do. Different people. Oh, absolutely. And things, yeah. Yes. Oh, and, and places. Mm. So it's not just the the people. Uh, of course, that's very, very important. But, but also the places. And here is, I, I mentioned early, <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna watch you. And there's, our, there's the there Velveteen Frog. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that's not actually our frog, that's in the inventory. But the lady that bought him and we couldn't find him was so gracious that she doesn't know it, but she's gonna get that for Christmas. Oh, Yeah, so it pays to, it it pays to be gra nice. gracious. And look at this though, corn cob. Oh yeah, I love Santa. that. I love that. I mean, that's what you do if you don't have, uh, you know, you're living out on the prairie yeah. and, and you want to be festive. And, and this mm. used to be a very, um, I mean, looking at uh, Catherine Weatherly's photos of um, her tree, they didn't put that much stuff on it. Like we Not do. like we do. But I like it. And, and they were sparser. Sparser. I think, yeah. With the branches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes 
really big, big things mm. too. And lots of tinsel, of course, lots that of fills tinsel. it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And things really that, that they make, but you know, I, I, like, I like both. I like sometimes David will say, how much are you planning on getting on that tree? <laughs> <laughs> as much as so I can. So the old girls, they really l literally, mm. there's no room for anything here. <laughs> right. and, and some of them, in a way, I wouldn't over decorate this because as t uh, historically with Christmas, the farther you go back, mm. the less decoration mm. there sure. is. Sure. So in the 18th century, 17th century, 19th century, it would be more, the celebration would be more around food mm -hmm. rather than decoration, mm -hmm. heavy duty. So I guess it's okay for that. Isn't that a good excuse? It is a good excuse. I'm <laughs> sure they, they would have had a smaller tree, maybe, uh -huh. maybe on yeah. the table or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Or, mm -hmm. and, or some, um, uh, you know, cuttings on the fireplace, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. So we didn't do much there, but well, I, they had it, yule logs too. That's right. Even the tutors mm -hmm. had yeah. yule logs. Oh yeah. and Well, they still have that at the uh, Carmel Highlands. They put one on, mm -hmm. and it has to burn until New Year's. Mm -hmm. so. Love it. So we should go in the French fashion case. Okay. And of course, the theme this year is the land of live dolls, yes. and in the land of live dolls, um, Christmas trees or um, trees grow parasols and. Um, mm. Aprons and hats, and probably hat. oh, hats. jewelry. Absolutely. And, mm -hmm. So these ladies have just gotten their crop of parasols. Yes, look at that. So let's look at them. I want to show you this because I know you love the French fashion things, and I want to get the reaction now. Are you envious of that? I hate you with a passion. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten. A hundred. Okay. But, look at it. But look, look at all at the little cameos. Oh, just amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's a really wonderful piece. And then this one is actually it, when, so it, when it's closed. It. Yeah. When it's closed, it's not that exciting, but when you open it. Look at the design. So take with all the chantilly the silk lace. Silk and put the lace over it, and look at the. Yeah. I mean beautiful. that is just a, a wonderful piece. Mm. So they've got their little tree, mm -hmm. and uh, they've asked for gifts, and of course, you know they got their uh, tree, the, and the but then fruit? the fruit was mm -hmm. that was a big big mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, an orange might be the ultimate gift to get mm -hmm. in the 18th and 19th century. Right. That was a big. Big deal to get right. that. Was there it, another parasol or is that? Um, um, oh, yes. This one. And so oh, this this yeah, is a Hure parasol. Yep. And they were metal and then they were painted to um, simulate ivory. And it's something that they could then mass produce. Um, uh, you know, mass produce yes, <laughs> right, as right. much as they could at that the concept, but it has a fabulous covering. Oh, look at And the fringe and everything is just... That fabric. I don't ever open mine all the way. No. Because no. I just don't no. want to deal it's, with... It's not worth I don't it. Be, I don't want to be the one to mm. have caused a little split in it. Right. And there's a couple of new girls in the cabinet, but um, at some point this next year, this, this is going to get all changed out because, you know, we leave things in a position for a while and then we do it's that time. at home sometimes yeah. I guess yeah, yeah. and um, you know we're going to start this next year our events again and if people have come to two, three or four events and said you know and they've seen it then you've mm -hmm. got to change you've got to mm -hmm. change it out although that being said they could walk past this you know eight or ten or twelve times in a weekend and then as soon as you take it out of the case, they've never seen it before. So I think <laughs> well, there's fun. so much to see, too. There's so much to look at. And so shall we go over here? Okay. And, um, We've got some mischief makers. We have some oxen and some moats. <laughs> and they have their Christmas hats on, although they're not allowed to, they're not allowed out of the cabinet because <laughs> they create chaos. Look at their little sweaters, ties. And one thing I'm very oh grateful for is a, a good part of this um, collection of memorabilia has been, have been gifts from people mm. all over the world mm. and it's very sweet and that is did special. you notice do you notice the Max and Mort's Christmas ornaments? Oh look at that! Mm -hmm. One pair is quite old and oh. the other is a little more recent mm. but um, Max and Mort's right now in Germany 
uh, have been licensed to sell all kinds of food products. So they, mm -hmm. they, they've been going strong for 160 mm -hmm. years now. Yeah, one, uh, 100 th yeah, 160. So Amazing. they've been do doing great. But they're always ready. Yeah, they're, they're ready to Very celebrate. Fun. And maybe if they're good, we'll give them another a Christmas tree right there because they could. But we'll see. Okay, it'll Hanging. come open. Hanging and then this is where we have our mm. most Best. prized antique Christmas things. And uh, the majority of this was from John Noble's collection. Mm. And when we handled his collection, instead of taking a um, sales commission, we okay. took the, the tree okay. instead. And um, they're very, very special items. And that's usually here all the time, mm -hmm. and it's pushed in. Mm. Um, but through that door is, is uh, command central for editing. and. Um, when the editing is done, then we'll we'll spread this out and display it a little bit better. But always. Oh, there's because a, a here's there's a, a frog, lot to right? see. A little mm -hmm. frog. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the the things that are very prized are the Dresden ornaments and mm. the um, Dresden ornaments and. Uh, cotton batting and there's lots and lots right. of wonderful things. And but I don't know if people realize that a feather tree was feathers. Oh yeah, the mm -hmm. actual goose feathers. feathers. Mm -hmm. I think goose feathers and it could be some turkey feathers. There's mm -hmm. all kinds of feathers, but mm -hmm. we mostly call them goose feathers. So shall we go into? Okay. Um, this is called the rose room, and this is also close to the catering. Mm -hmm. And this is, we're not going to show you the inside because, again, that's for the night before Christmas. Okay. But this is, I think, a, a, just an quintessential American, mm -hmm. one of a kind mm -hmm. dollhouse. And um, so, because it's American, you can see that the, 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 all the decorations are Christmas, but they're also patriotic. And mm -hmm. It has a long tradition oh, of being at, special at, at Christmas. Look at that. Hey, hey, Denise, if anybody wants to challenge us on the yes. sparseness of a oh, Christmas there we tree, go. Look at the, they could look at the okay. size of it. The size but, of the tree and the spacing mm -hmm. of all the ornaments. And this was um, in uh, Flora Gill Jacobs' uh, collection mm -hmm. at the Washington Dollhouse Museum. And uh, it is actually pictured uh, as a cover on the cover of one of her books. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, yes. and I misplaced the steps there. I mean, I have them, but I just misplaced them. But it worked out pretty nice because oh, we made this, a we made a here. snow bank. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, That's beautiful. nobody's oh, yes, home. The flag. Nobody's home. They're okay. getting prepared oh, okay. for Christmas. Right. But they'll, they'll, we'll get to show it the night before. And then, mm. um, Very beautiful. I believe our, our crew kind of created this is all over this kind of, um, we have a few sewing machines. A I don't few. know if yes, you've noticed. Yes, we have a couple of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David, there, there David would like to say, stop, You might, you might not stop. know if one's missing. But <laughs> and then I think. Uh, I think I did this and yes. maybe Judy too. I put that on because Mary put a doll on the top of hers. Yeah, well, and that's See? it's a beautiful baby. Yeah. And this is our beautiful yeah. wax babies with mm -hmm. uh, um, but I love this because I think of all these dolls as very feminine, and you did a b very feminine treat mm. with the pinks. And and, pinks. Uh, but they're all, um, they're all uh, uh, evidently they're all the brass section. So when the horns go off, it'll there come from okay. here. <laughs> so uh, just a few things are in these cases that not not that much because there's so much to so much to see that it almost. Um, would be too much. And you can't put anything big in a no, large, in no, a large no. tree. Um, and then this is our, these two, um, there's a few dolls that don't belong to it, but these are our dolls, Rose's things. Mm -hmm. And this, this next year is going to get put away because it's been here for well, quite a few years. But, you know, she deserves her. She's had. Well, she's her, dressed in red. Of course, of course. And did you notice her her slippers with holly? Oh, on? look at that! That's for no. Christmas. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> she's pretty famous. She was in this um, mm -hmm. uh, journal by 
the very talented Lori Santamora that did mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And I did a couple of articles for her and David helped with the cooking things. And she's also been on the cover of Antique Doll Collector. And well, there's a few little things for t Mr. Little, and Mrs. Okay. Thumbs. Okay, that's, that's cute. Yeah, Those yeah. trees are very yeah. cute in there, yeah. and then up here too. Yeah. And this is the, f cute. I think this is the first oh, time you've like, shown. No, it is. You, you didn't see these, no, did you? No, they weren't. So, so the, those are uh, Mr. Thumbs boots and, and the, um, top ephemera. hat, ephemera, his vest, mm. shirt, glove. And the picture. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was. I don't think it may have not. I they were in. They were. They were they put were, into one shelf. Yes. Now they are into two. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Which okay. meant that some other things had to get put mm -hmm. put put away, which is okay. Now I want to show you. This this is this little tableau this is here. here is actually going to go into the window, but and it's and it's going to and it's going to be in the front window at. Uh, children's height mm -hmm. so that that way there's uh, we are on a hill yes and so as the farther you go up the hill the distance between the window and is shorter and that's where kitties love to look mm. so this is going to be the automaton the in the window the yes and it is a metaphor you know there mm. is um, um, the goose that lays the golden oh, egg so a lot of people don't take care of the goose and that egg is not enough for them. They want more and more and more. So our goose lays little little tiny golden eggs. That's our metaphor. And then, then mm -hmm. we're gonna make egg salad. Egg salad. <laughs> but think she'll, that's wonderful. She'll that keep that. going and going and going. So our, our our beautification crew made her that without any direction from me. They made her the the the, um, mm. the 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 chef's uniform, so wow. you know it. And I'm glad to use this because this is from the old time of of Carmel Doll Shop. Oh, okay. you know we've been around a long no, time. No, I know. Yeah. And um, uh, it, she was in another identity, so now she's going to be oh, a chef. Oh, okay. Now she's a chef. Who Very knows good. what she'll be next? Yeah. Salandress. Who knows? Many possibilities. Many possibilities. That's right. All right. Do you know we who have, this is? I do. This is Eloise. Yes. And I love Eloise. One of our program presenters, Sally Freeman, uh, introduced me a long, long time ago to Eloise. And I'll tell you a funny story about El having to do with Eloise. Uh, we were contracted or asked to do a favor for Antique Doll Collector, mm -hmm. which was to go to Hollywood and photograph Eloise for the cover of Antique Doll Collector with a famous producer who will be, re, be re, nameless. Mm -hmm. So we go to the appointment at the certain time and we get there and I looked across the street and I said to David, that's the Brady Bunch house. Mm -hmm. So we had an argument on the street about whether it was or wasn't because it looked too small. Right, of course. So we finally of knock course. on the door and we get it, you know, see the, the, the gentleman. <laughs> And uh, he said, did you see the Brady Bunch house? <laughs> so it was. So this was a very organized person. But when it came to actually doing the photo shoot, I mean, I had to take over. I said, do you have an iron? No. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to go get an iron because mm -hmm. we can't do can't the cover. All, no, so, wrinkle. I mean, I, I, but I, I learned a tremendous amount. Was one of these dolls on Used or not? Uh, These are it was it, well. It would be the, this version. Okay. But this is this is these are the newer's, and this one is actually original. Oh, and we okay. have it in a with a blue skirt and a red skirt. Oh, okay. Red skirt's a little more uh, unusual to find. Yeah, but this is a, this is a 1950s oh, Eloise. Right. Okay. These are um, I mean these are still available at the Plaza Hotel in New York City. Oh, are they? Oh, oh yeah, because okay. that's where she lives. But did right. you see this one? Feel her. No. Feel it. It's completely poseable. Oh. Oh. It's like those uh -huh. little little ball, uh -huh. like little. Yeah. Yeah. But I, what I think is funny is that we've got Eloise in the with this old fashioned stove. She doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> if she wants not. food, she if orders you lived room service. She would orders you? room service. Of course. You know, and they do. Uh, it is. It is a known. I'm not letting a cat out of the bag. Um, it uh, Eloise is based on 
Liza Minnelli as a child. So mm -hmm. Liza Minnelli said, if I didn't learn how to do mm -hmm. room service, I didn't get food. You didn't get fed. Yeah. So this is, this is, I'm loving what's happening here. Mm -hmm. So. Look at these ladies. This is a, a project that um, Cheryl Williams started and we're involved in it, of course, in the sense of, yeah, let's do that. And this takes a year, as you know, Denise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that um, uh, to, to, to get it from the fabric to the, the patterns made. Right. And then a, a year ago, we found these uh, sl sleds and then David did all the customization, custom work to it. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our antique horses that happened to just work really, really good with it. And then um, I did a little bit of the last, you know, zhuzhing it. And then one of our talented members of staff just did this whole, um, I actually like the kind of starkness of the display yes. but then in Little ten and a half minutes snowman. he made a snowman yeah, I know isn't look, that cute look at the, he, I don't know where he, if he went outside I really think he must have mm -hmm. but isn't that cute yeah, it's very cute so this very is this cute. is a project that's uh, in the uh, the convention this time and what's nice about it is we made it um, well, I have to say we make it when we do a workshop. We're making something. Right, right. We we oh, real, made it. Yeah, yeah. we 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 um, realized that we could make this versatile. This is for mm. a lady, but it could be shortened and it could be for um, an enfantine. Mm. So you uh, and she's going to give directions on all of that. But this is a that's fun, fantastic. You know, yeah, and uh, we have that. a limited amount of these, but. We have a big event coming up here on the 18th. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of thinking, wouldn't it be great to have these down the center of the table, just Ooh. rows and rows of, <laughs> we'll see if they be can fun. pull that be off. Fun. Oh, and this is another thing we did too. Did you see that? I did see that. Isn't that cute? Yes, it is. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll love this class because it's actually, at first I was a little bit, uh-oh, I'm afraid of that. But right. it's actually fairly simple. And you'll you'll enjoy it, you know. You got to get well. It's a good thing to have in the wardrobe. Oh yeah, with, and what I love about this whites. with the drawstring mm -hmm. or the draw channel, you can change oh, the, pull the shape. Well, you can change the shape, which mm. you know you need that when you're mm -hmm. going uh, from you know 70s into 80s. Right. Oh yeah. Um, but it's it's a fun it's project. It's wonderful. Yeah. 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 I love it. And that'll be a separate um, thing. It, 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 she needs it, but it, it's very uh, versatile with other garments. It looks like it'd be great yeah. for 70s, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. our Albert Mark is just doing her normal uh, kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. um, she does that all the time. And, and then uh, She's used to Rudolph that. Valentino, you know. Um, what I want for them is I've, we've had them in, a pa in the past, and I haven't saved them. But what I want for them are felt ornaments. Ooh. Wouldn't that be great? Ooh, yes. We've had Ooh, them in the past. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I Ooh. you know, we've used them for events and whatnot. But I'd love to do mm. this very theme like where it's all textiles for um their that be right, a tree right there. Yeah, That'd there's there's space yeah. or or another doll there. You know, just push her in and, <laughs> and maybe put one on the other side. Shall we go mm. to the mid century? So many treasures. Shall we go to the mid century? Why not, sure. I'm gonna Aww, let, I'm look gonna, at Barbie. Look, look at Barbie. Aww. You know, the, I, again, this is something that's going to be a big change because um, uh, Barbie's outgrown this case. So mm -hmm. I think she's going to get moved in something a little more um, with a little more room. But I do love our. Um, I love our, our um, the silver the silver trees, yeah, but the but tree um, or you know the one thing that's missing is we really need um, the thing to make it um, uh, the color thing. That remember those things that you well you you probably no. don't that that you had it and it projected on it and it turned the the the, the tree was pink oh, and, and then it was then blue. It was blue. Oh. oh, I would just sit and watch that for hours. I just remember like <laughs> different. Um, Moving or those remember the bubble? Oh, yes. They look like oh, yeah. candles. They were yeah. bubble, they bubbled yeah. all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. but the, I mean these are so bad that they're good. <laughs> they're good. 
So you're familiar with this room. This is where all I the am. parties parties, and are. parties and the meals and the happen. The meals happen and it, in and this, this room. And this is, I think, our biggest room as far as not having anything in your way and things mm -hmm. can come out. Mm -hmm. So most of the decorations are obviously in the, the cases. And, and again, we didn't want to take away you know, putting a tree in there, then right. then the kids it's, would have to go. So right. it's, there, there are a decorating committee. Look how cute mm -hmm. that. And you know, I I would never throw away a little loose bead because sometimes mm. you just need that pop of color. Mm. And uh, it's lovely. And then we have another of our antique. I'm not going to oh, show you the houses because that's no, going to be the for, night before right, Christmas. Right. And that's this is a, an 18th century house, so it'll be decorated and. Oh, yeah. But this is another one of our antique trees. I love this fill, or the with, with cotton batting, is it? Mm -hmm. This cotton. Oh yeah. yeah, and that's a fun, mm. that's a fun project. And to look do. at this picture; it's an old picture. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of goodies oh. on that. I forget what there is right. sometimes too. And they'd have such little whimsical things like this. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, sometimes you have a doll that's okay. It's not the greatest doll for your 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 cabinet, your collection, but it still has some um, cuteness to it. It's a perfect ornament. Or or you have a little mm -hmm. one that has has had a little accident, accident, and then suddenly you can put it in a batting um, snowsuit with wings, and it's cute again. There you go. So, and then of course, Christmas. When I think of Christmas, I think of the stockings on the yes. fireplace and okay. you know they may not be with us any longer but each of the bulls have their own have stockings their own stock. and um, uh, mm -hmm. some of them have uh, monogrammed stockings and they knew that there was to be presence they Aww. understood all of that but I, I think I think the the tree to see oh just a little just I a little something. This. Yeah, a little something, <laughs> something here. So uh, they didn't get a tree. They have uh, their corner. And this is the R. John Wright Alice in Wonderland set. It's not the whole set, but it's, it's uh, uh, and are these not out of this world? Oh, in incredible. I mean, besides the, the, the sculpture of the heads, mm -hmm. look, at the, look at the piecework. That's all oh, sewn together. All that, I mean, yes. it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy. No, they're great on detail. They are. They are. And I actually really think that Alice is amazing. I mean, she's got a face that I love. Doesn't I, she? Out of all of the dolls, mm -hmm. I like, really like her face. Yeah, I love that face. And look at his shoes. Oh, they're fabulous. Look at that. They're absolutely fabulous. And, and what is her, the Duchess's. Um, it looks like it's painted. It's painted. I, mm -hmm. can't I think it's a it's a is stencil. It, um, it's a it's a stencil that's then painted. Gosh. You know they they design it, cut it out, and then you know probably uh, they don't it's paint perfect. it. They probably use they probably use like a mop to. Mm. I mean I'm just I uh, I'm sure they would tell us how they they yeah, do. Oh well, yes, you can kind go, of tell go us. There yeah. and, see, and see them working. Oh yes, and watch it's them. fun yeah, to it watch is. them make it. it. It's like turning um, those little fingers inside out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they put them on um, almost like baker's racks mm -hmm. and um, um, like cookies. Mm -hmm. And they lay them out very, very clean and pristine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to see a, a, a Christmas tree, uh, this one, this, this, if this one came down, which it won't, it, it could really hurt you. <laughs> but isn't it amazing? And I'm not, I'm not sure how many dolls are on it but it is there's a lot and in a lot of ways it's a, a really uh, representation of this really great American um, uh, toy manufacturer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in the land of the live doll and this is there they're all almost ripe mm -hmm. they're not quite there yet but mm -hmm. they're uh, almost ripe and this was done by Judy Lloyd yes. and she did a, a lot of these Ornaments. Oh, wow. She did she these. Made mm. She made them, uh, following the the. Um, uh, but you know, Judy Judy put every single doll on this tree herself. She did. She had no help, and it's not easy to do because you have to use a bit a big ladder, big ladder. to get up there, and, and she did it. 
come up, maybe come nobody, upstairs. Nobody helped her, so oh. it, it really is. I love how she puts these in the trees. Yes, it, isn't and it great? I love that. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, it was fun shopping with her, and um, I mean, she let me pick this, and, and I don't know that she necessarily liked it at the time, oh, okay. but this is felt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then when Perfect. she decided it was all right. But she's a master of, of display. Definitely. You know, and uh, it was Definitely. a lot of fun. And then as the tree gets up higher, the, the ornaments get smaller. Mm. And so this is, a, this is officially Another we're shot, in right? the children's corner. Mm -hmm. And the, the dolls are all children here. And this is always temporary. So right now we're celebrating, which of course is a, of course a, pr a program in the, in the um, weekend, which is uh, American Masters Albert Schoenhut. So mm. we're celebrating the Schoenhut children. Mm. And um, ideally I would have liked to have had a tree with all wooden ornaments, but you know, you have to plan ahead. And, yes, and then collect. And plan the, ahead, mm -hmm. and yet we never, we never know what, what, gonna what we're going to have. Right. Yeah. So the, these cases didn't really get much change, just a few little embellishments. Little trees. But here's the big change. Um, mm -hmm. This corner Look at that had house. a, uh, um, this, is, this is the corner that had our archives in it our computer with our archives mm. and, and it died of old age. Mm. And it okay. sat here for two years and I just, and no one was using the space. And I thought, let's move this fantastic Christmas house out of, um, so that you, that you get a better view of it. And. Will that be in the Christmas Eve? Absolutely. Oh, okay. And because we moved it here, um, uh, the late Mickey Haynes uh, decorated it, and she's a very uh, fine restorer. Mm. And I understand how she was decorating it. She's decorating it for a resale client, mm. wasn't for herself. And there were some things I thought, that's not good enough for this house. Aww. So since I moved it here now, I've kind of taken out the things I don't want, put the things I, I think want. Sometimes when you move something somewhere, it's new again. Yes. Do it with a doll. And you know what like was? You know what also was new again? It had electricity. Oh. This was originally in um, the Angel's Attic mm -hmm. Museum in Santa Monica, mm -hmm. which you're very mm -hmm. familiar with. And we're very sad it's gone. Yeah. But when we had to take, you know, we bought the big part of the collection, we had to just cut a lot of the, the cords to get uh, them out of the okay, building. Sure. So it sat here for quite a few years, uh, no electricity. And so then once we moved it, then David couldn't ignore <laughs> but he had to fix it because I'm no electrician, you know. I'm no. Yeah. So it, it, well, he it, can do it. He can do it. So it's now it's. Um, um, It'll be lit. It's it's lit nice enough that it creates atmosphere, but he said to mm -hmm. me not that long ago, "Well, I'm going to do that right." Oh, so, okay. So we'll, we'll 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 have it. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. right. Just perfect. And then our crew created this uh, mm -hmm. tableau mm -hmm. with okay. our sewing machines mm. and so you do uh, have a few i got a couple, couple of sewing machines. yeah yeah and i i get a lot of pressure that i need to let them go but some of them go but i'm not quite there yet because when when um when i'm shown the evidence that i have the same thing and then i can prove i don't they're <laughs> all different <laughs> and they all have a place here. they do they do so, um, we've got one more room to see. Yes, we do. Okay. So, are you ready? Okay. Follow me. And a, a lot of people will be surprised by this room. Mm, look at that. This is amazing. I love the Just story amazing. of Raggedy Ann and Andy. And oh. I think it's positivity and, oh, you know, yeah. kindness and all of that is, um, f uh, you know, just uh, to me very of the season. And, you know, when all of these raggedies came our way, uh, I thought, well, the land of live dolls, mm -hmm. these, you know, raggedies grow on trees. That's right, they do. 
And so, then you can pick out the one that you had when you were a child. It would look exactly. So, yes. mm -hmm. And didn't you have one of these big ones? No, I wanted one. So oh, you bad. wanted one? I wanted one. It was in a store window. And they didn't let you have it? No, they didn't. No. <laughs> but I had one of those. So, so uh, yeah. my mother loved raggedies too. She, she was a. Uh, and this, this is Judy Lloyd again. Yes. She did, did this, this tree. By herself. She created a lot yes. of the ornaments. If you see that there are mittens on mm. the trees, she created, she made those. Oh, and the hearts she made that those. say I love mm -hmm. you on them. Mm -hmm. she and, them. And we really appreciate it. She, and again, you know, Judy is not, uh, she's a petite lady. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she, she, climbs up that ladder, she worked that ladder <laughs> to the top. And um, she MacGyvered it to, um, all of that. So she really did uh, a beautiful job. And she even created the, a special skirt for the bottom. And remember, when mm. she did this, she didn't know how many raggedies we had. Oh, she didn't? No. Oh. Uh-uh. So she was really, really um, and the yarn, surprised. the yarn Yeah, the yarn. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And the popcorn. Yes. And, um, you know, again, it's a, it's a, it's a fun thing to, to collect mm -hmm. them, to do a uh, a, a raggedy tree. And I think if I did it again, one thing I'd want is the books. So the books have mm. a lot of wonderful illustrations. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd want that right. too. Right. I have a couple of those yeah. books. Yeah. I love the illustrations. So, and then the, the final thing is that the R. John Wright raggedies, which mm. let's face it, they're probably the most sophisticated <laughs> raggedies mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we have um, Jeffrey Cook did, uh, uh, using one of our dolls, he created a Christmas project. Oh, and so in the project, you get three size dolls oh. and you get the dolls to, to assemble. Okay. And then you get a, a basic pattern for the cape, the dress, the mm -hmm. uh, hats, um, underwear, undergarments. Mm -hmm. But I want you to feel the face. Oh, yes. And then he gives you the lessons on how to it's needle sculpt that so, so that you have. Oh, really, Jeffrey, mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, oh look. Mm -hmm. And this is Clara, and this is, oh, my goodness. this is our, you know, we did um, mm. Cheryl's Christmas dress, you mm -hmm. know, which is right. through the woods. Right. And then this is the and Christmas this. doll. Oh. You got off the hook. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> and I should show you this. This is something that Samantha mm -hmm. created. Ooh. So this is a file. Okay. So you have to take the time to okay. make this, but this is a miniature book. So everyone, oh, who's, it's okay. everyone, There's a file for it. everyone who's watching this can, can, ha have can it. make this. Can make and what you can do is see how it's kind of flat. Mm -hmm. Well, what you can do to give it the 19th century look is you take egg whites. Oh, egg whites. You were t yes. And you can go in and you can paint the egg white onto the red of the suit. Mm. And you can also put some of that wonderful glitter. I don't mean like tacky glitter, but you know, the glass glitter, the old fashioned, and just really mm. doll that up. And and you could, you know, Love this it. is just done with a, a felt tip pen. But this, okay. is, this is for everybody to have. Fantastic. And they're perfect sizes, like for, for her. The, for her. Mm -hmm. Love it. So, anyways, Denise, well, I, I know that um, this has been this has been fantastic. Well, we, we had a lot of fun doing it. I and have one tree. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a lot of trees here, and and of course, you know, going around. The, there, this is more than just decorating the trees. There's there's bows everywhere. And at one point, one of the members of our staff walked into the kitchen, and I was um, doing a tree, and she said. This has got to stop. <laughs> this is out of control. It's got to stop. And where would you stop? And I oh, said, you said, I said, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> 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 and I live by this. <laughs> like excess. Yes. So, when else can you do it so, at Christmas time? Anyways, no, this is gorgeous. So that, well, the next time you're here, uh -oh, it'll yeah. be a little different because it'll be for the big Christmas party. It'll be for the party and auction. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, I'm listen to all friends. I, I hope you've had a wonder, uh, wonderful weekend. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. And I, mm -hmm. we wish you happy holidays 
and mm -hmm. a very healthy and prosperous new year. Yes. Bye-bye, doll yes. friends. Bye-bye. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.